Welcome to Profit Max Potential, the video series designed to help you get the most out of your Profit Max software. Today, we're going to explore just one more Profit Max Potential point to help you better manage your service department to its maximum profitability. Come on, let's get started. Today's Profit Max Potential Point is going to focus on the second key performance indicator, average revenue per billable hour. This KPI is found on the Key Performance Indicator Report in the Revenue section. Each item in this section is referring to the time the technician spends performing demand service work only, no maintenance. Tom, why don't you define this KPI for us? Our second key performance indicator is called average revenue per billable hour. Per billable hour. And this is the average revenue per billable hour is all revenue generated from billable calls, including tune-ups but no maintenance, compared with the amount of time spent on those calls. That is real service dollars divided by real service hours. Now this is a profit max generated number based on your setup numbers of your hourly rate, your diagnostic fee, uh, your travel times, repair diagnostic, and any expected parts revenue. So again, this number is not something you're going to input directly. This is a number that will be generated by the ProfitMax software based on the information that you put in setup. Thanks, Tom. Now let's take a closer look at what this number is telling us. This is a great indicator because it instantly tells you which techs are most profitable while they're in a billing situation. The goal would be to keep your most productive tech in the field billing as much as possible. When it comes time to send someone over to help out another department, the guy with the lowest revenue per billable hour is the guy you need to tap on the shoulder. He may not like it, but there are other techs who are doing a much better job. In our company, Bruce is right at our goal of $130.29. Sean is at $123.50, missing the goal by $6.79 per hour. The real problems, however, are Rob, who is at $100.12 per hour, missing the goal by $30.17, and Bryant, who is at $80.56 per hour, missing the goal by $49.73 for every hour he bills out during the year. Think about that. For every hour he bills out, he's leaving almost $50 on the table. What does that mean throughout the course of a year? Let's take a look at it. Bryant is missing his goal by that whopping $49.73 per hour. And the typical technician is only 50% billable. That is, 50% of his time is non-billable. That's 1,000 billable hours per year. We'll multiply Bryant's shortage of $49.73 times 1,000 hours to equal $49,730 per year in revenue. Rob's shortage of $30.17 per hour times 1,000 billable hours per year totals a shortage of $30,170. And even Sean's shortage of $6.79 times 1,000 billable hours per year equals $6,790. That's a total for the three technicians of over $86,000. Now that we know the impact to our company, we need to determine a cost so we can fix it. One thing that can impact this number is the pricing that you have set for various repairs. For example, if you run a special price for a cleaning check or a tune-up, that will impact the revenue per billable hour. The tech doesn't have control over the price being charged to the customer. The first place that I would look at is KPI number four, the billable index. This is an indicator of how well the tech understands your billing format when he's running demand service calls and tune-ups combined. Bryant is at 62%, or 62% of what we would expect him to be bringing in. Next, I'd look at KPI number 5, billable efficiency. This KPI filters out the time the tech spends running tune-ups. It's demand service calls only. Here, Bryant is at 72%. If the index is low, but the efficiency is at 100%, the tech is likely spending a lot of time running tune-ups where you're offering a discounted price. Are you running your tune-ups too cheap? The technician may not have control over the fact that you lowered the price to the customer, but as long as they bill it out completely and correctly, the billable efficiency will be at 100%. If the problem is under billing, this number will be something less than 100%. Bryant is running a fair number of tune-ups, but even when we filter those out of the equation, he's still under billing the customer. 
I would also go down and take a look at KPI number 23, first time completion percentage. Every time the tech has to leave the job and return at a later time, that's another service call that you can't run. It's also another diagnostic charge that they can't bill out. As a result, they'll end up with a lower revenue per billable hour. Now, it's not all bad news. There is one last thing that I would take a look at. That's KPI number 13, Performance Indicator for Billable Hours. You could also call this the Profitability Indicator. In a nutshell, this says that if your service department is going to be profitable, the cost of labor can't exceed $0.20 cents out of every dollar generated. Bryant's is at $0.18. Cents. In other words, his loaded wages are only costing us $0.18 cents out of every dollar he's bringing into the company. Even though he's not performing up to our expectations, we're still making money on him. Now, I happen to know that Bryant is a green tech. I can now go back to him and let him know that he's doing okay. And in order to allow me to move him up to the next pay level, here's a few things you need to work on. There's never a simple answer to the problem, but if you can identify it and resolve the issues by man, you can build a team of career technicians, that is, a group of techs who are as interested in the company's profitability and success as you are. Well, that's today's Profit Max Potential Point. If you have a suggestion for this series that you feel would help you get more out of the Profit Max software, give us a call today at 800 432 7963. And hey, make a decision to make it a Profit Max.